Absolutely. So if you are heading out to a spring training game tomorrow, you're going to want to keep a close eye on the radar. Rain is very likely for tomorrow, especially during the afternoon hours. If you've got tickets to a game today, well, you're in luck and you're probably already on your way to the game because first pitch is usually around one o'clock. And right now we are in the mid 70s. Well, pretty quickly, they'll push into the low 80s for the rest of the afternoon hours, partly cloudy and warm. It's a little warm for us for this time of year. Hey, we've got our first flood watches issued ahead of tomorrow's storm system. They begin tomorrow morning and they continue all the way through the day and into Thursday morning. Everywhere here highlighted in green under a flood watch. We also have the flood warning for this portion of the Tonto Creek and the Tonto Basin and the Salt River bed uh, through the uh, Valley Metro area. And that is where they've been releasing the water uh, that has been coming downstream now from Tempe Town Lake. We also have a flood watch here in effect for portions of Oak Creek right near Sedona down to the Cottonwood area. We're talking about a lot of rain tomorrow and this rain falling on top of snowpack is going to lead to rapidly rising water levels because of the melting snow that that will create. Snow uh, rainfall amounts we'll start with then we'll get to snow rainfall amounts really start up later today for parts of the high country, but really start to pick up even more tomorrow morning. For the Valley Metro area, even before noon, we could pick up a little less than a tenth of an inch. This is just one of the models we look at uh, here in the Fort County Center. As we head overnight into the afternoon hours and toward tomorrow night, uh, we're looking at potentially up to half an inch in the Valley, and we're really going to watch some of these spots like Flagstaff. This is the first time I've seen a model pick up on that much rain for Lake Havasu, but it is possible as we head toward Thursday morning. Models are now trending up a little bit for how much rain the Valley could see. In terms of how much snow we're we're looking at it's not going to be a lot fairly high snow levels uh, as the storm starts which will be during the day tomorrow mainly rain it's not until tomorrow night Wednesday night into Thursday morning that snow levels finally fall off to 6,500 feet and so really the accumulation that we're looking at a couple of inches or so probably going to be above about 8,000 feet the storm right now is pushing into California with very heavy rain and a high threat for flash flooding, catastrophic potentially flash flooding for parts of California today into tonight and tomorrow morning. Let's time this system out as it pushes into Arizona. Once again, as we head toward this afternoon, we're going to get a little bit of light rain likely across Mojave County, then portions of Yavapai County, just some clouds for the valley later today. Overnight tonight, tomorrow morning. We take this to about 7, 8 o'clock. Likely the rain's starting to push in to the Valley Metro area sometime during the morning hours. And again, this is mostly rain across the high country. Even into the afternoon hours, we're seeing rain here. For the Valley, our best chance of rain is going to be the afternoon hours heading into the evening hours when overnight we have a risk for heavier rain and also a slight chance for thunderstorms. That's also when we start to see that rain switching over to snow in parts of the high country. So again, tomorrow's a first alert weather day with a flood watch in effect for parts of the high country and a 70% chance for widespread rain across the valley. We'll drop from the 80s to the 70s after that. We'll stay in the mid-70s for St. Patrick's Day and your weekend.